Hello everyone, welcome back to Star Trek Online. We're now in the future, well, in the present day, as far as Star Trek's concerned. Um, so, we had to change our clothes, so as everybody knows, the future is shiny, so we've gone with shiny too, but we've gone with some sensible boots. Um, some gloves and shit. Right, so we need to speak to a temporal agent, uh, before we speak to the Admiral. Fair enough, I suppose. Uh, we're getting a, a line to tell us where we're going. I actually already know where we're going from my main. Hello. Alright, let's see what he has to say for himself. Ah, there you are. Daniels told me you'd be stopping by. Welcome to the 25th century. We've established your new cover identity, and the Admiral is expecting you in the office behind me. Report to him for your orders. Good luck out there. Let's hope we stop Joula before she causes irreparable damage to the timeline. Cheers. Alright. Um, let's talk to the Admiral then. Hello, Admiral. Um, hi. Ah, come in. I've been expecting you. I've been reviewing your service record. It's exemplary. You've accomplished a great deal in your career. Starfleet can use more officers of your caliber, to be certain. I hope you're ready to get back out there. A situation has come to my attention, and I'd like you to look into it. Okay. You have just earned your first skill points. Yay. Click here to learn more. Wait, what? Um, hold on, hold on. Where? What What are you talking about, voice in my head? What? Um, hold on. Is it this thing? Because I can't actually see what I'm doing. Because my FPS counter. So, like, here is, like, obscured. Um, it's not for you, but it is for me. Um, so... Now what the fuck do we do? Let's talk to this dude. Hello. Greetings. How can I assist you today? Uh -huh. Or in the future? Um... That's all? Now what do I do? Do you have a mission for me or not? Because I've got the eye thing. Who are you again? Well, where do I start? I'm 157 years old. But that's only because I spent 90 years caught in a temporal distortion in the Typhon Expanse, serving as an ensign under Captain Morgan Bateson on the USS Bozeman. Much of the crew of the Bozeman found it difficult to integrate back into Starfleet. So much had changed. The Temporal Intelligence Agency took in many of my shipmates due to our first-hand knowledge of events that occurred in the past. So, that's where I ended up. Cheers. Alright, so let's, um, go back to the Admiral. Anything... Shall I just pick one of these and do them, I suppose? Borg activities. Sure, let's... Borg have been located in the Beta Quadrant. A fleet has already begun massing. The Klingon Defense Force also has a fleet in the area, and we have agreed to share the system for the defense of the Alpha Quadrant. Report immediately to 4 of 10. She is a liberated Borg stationed on the USS Victory, who has been providing us with strategic information for the fight against the Collective. The transwarp conduit to Gamma Orionis is in the Beta Quadrant. I see. Okay. Let's do that then. Um, so, are we not going back to our own timeline? Is that what's occurring? Because I was kind of under the impression that we would be going home. Um, but let's keep talking. Hello! Um, right, so we're gonna go do something there. Um, no? Resolved mission. Wow, that was easy. Alright, let's just get out into space. Uh, let's beam back to our ship. Yes. Alright, so... Uh, since we've got nothing better to do, I was reminded in the loading screen that there's shit to do on Risa. Oh, hello. Um, need a capable crew to check our reports of bog activity in the burger system. They're probably going to die as mob to the task. Yes, but we're going to go to Risa first. Um, we're going to dig around, uh, sort now loot first, though. So, um, let's bring that up. Okay, so. Uh, is that better than what I've got? Yes, so to drag it on. This will be a long and grueling process. Um, but has to be done. Oh my god, what do you want? I mean, hello. Um, yeah, sure. I'll add it to my to-do list. Brilliant. Okay, let's keep going with this. Uh, when we're done, we'll get on our way. 
Uh, while I've been doing all of that, I've been inundated with requests for, do for doing things. Uh, but first, we're going to go and recycle anything we're not using. That's taking up space. Oh, actually, we'll keep that. Um, we need that. Um, we're not using that. Uh, not using that. Sadly, you don't get much from some of these. I mean, surely we should get the materials back or something. But no. So, uh, right. Get rid of that. So now we'll equip the ship. So, what have we got here? Is it better than what we got? Uh, yes, it's better than the. I am the leader oh my of the Vulcan Research yes, Team, matter. studying the unique ecology of the planet Pavel. Leave Pava. me alone. Starfleet has right. informed me um, that an ion storm. Oh my! And another one. Yes, Grace. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Please leave me alone. Right, Fizzer Beam Array. Is this better than the one we've got equipped right now? 252 to 261. Yes, it's. Oh my god. Fuck off! Fuck off! Please! They just will not stop! God damn it, is that better than the one we've got on the back, actually? 252. Nope. Nope. No, it isn't. Alright. How are we doing? Wait. Hmm. Alright. Is that better? Yes, it is. Uh, what was that again? Warp Core. That is better, right? Yeah. Warp core. Where are you? There you go. So yeah, basically whenever I get new loot, I'm going to go through that process and we'll just repeat over and over again. An engineering console. Let's get that in there. Alright. Uh, let's get underway. So it looks like uh, the future is a permanent home for us now. It would appear. So we are going to take a vacation at Ricer. Uh We're going to ignore all of this shit. We're just going to have a bit of fun for now. My god. What a queue of things to get back to. I used the gateway in the beta quadrant to enter the Janolan Dyson Sphere. Okay, travel to New Warmulus. Find out what's going on in Warmulus now that uh, we're in the 25th century. Go to Deep Space Nine, that'll be cool. Go to the Lakari system, and yeah, we'll do that while we're doing the DS9 thing. But for now, let's go on vacation. And here we are, I think. Here we are. Hooray! Right. Let's land on the planet. Let's fly towards it. No. What? Just release level 10. Oh, you fucking bastards. Alright, fine. Let's just pick a thing then do it. Fuck, that's so disappointing. What level am I at? Eight. Maybe we can level up in like a quest or two. Alright, we'll hit two birds with one stone and we'll go to Deep Space Nine. Yes, let's just get on with it. After the devastation of the Dominion War, the Cardassians chose a path that would lead their planet to prosperity and democracy. Not everyone agreed with this choice. A secret organization dedicated to the return of the Cardassian Union and the Obsidian Order plagues Federation and Cardassian forces, seeking to overturn newfound freedoms in favor of oppression and aggression. In the end, the fight to save Deep Space Nine may be the battle that decides the fate of the Quadrant. Thank you for the pickup. I'm Tenora Zuval. Let's get started. My preliminary observations show some kind of unknown stellar problem. This unexplored system near Ferenginar is undergoing solar death. Basically, it's as if the star is going out suddenly, but there's no good reason why. We need to get close enough to take some readings and see what we can figure out. What? What's going on? Let me speak to Ops. Please, we're low on fuel and supplies. We need help badly. Tell the ambassador that any Jem'Hada aggression will be met with deadly okay. force. Uh, let's get on with this. I don't really like this slate. Like, eavesdropping in on whatever this is going on. This is Station Control. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Your docking clearance has been authorized. Several of our docking facilities were damaged in the recent conflict. Please proceed to the provided coordinates. Also, Captain Nog is waiting to meet with you on the promenade at your earliest convenience. Enjoy your stay here at the station. Okay, cheers. Um, let's just beam over. Right, who's going? Everybody! Woohoo! Hello! Space Nine. I've Hello. been assigned to assist you here on the station. 
the leaders of the four major delegations have asked to meet with you prior to the summit meeting. Their offices are located here on the promenade. Why have they asked to meet with me? I'm from the past, dude. Nobody should know who I am. I mean, what, what, what kind of conspicuous cover have I been given? Like, give me the cover Admiral of a nobody. Admiral Quinn's office is behind those doors. Yeah, okay, right, fine, let's get on with this. Hello. Wait, didn't I see you on Earth? Although we did piss around for ages. Hello. The results of this summit could have long-lasting effects. A number of our allies, particularly the Klingons, consider the Herc to be a Dominion problem. The Federation sees this as a chance to improve relations with the Dominion. Having allies in the Gamma Quadrant instead of enemies would be a great step toward galactic peace. Okay. Of course I read my briefing, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh huh. Carry on. Right, where are we going now? It's nice being on D uh, DS9. I came here on my main for ages and just hung out. Um, should I take the screenshots? We should here take Here is Proconsul Deton's office. Okay, thank you. Let me in. Hello. This summit may be difficult. While your people will see a path toward peace, I suspect the Klingons will feel the opposite. There is no love lost between them and the Dominion, or the Herc for that matter. The Republic position is one of pragmatism. A weakened Dominion will be easier to deal with, and the Herc are a threat no one can ignore. Okie doke. Alright, moving on. Where to next? Um, who is next? Hello. Dominion refugee. Nice to see some fighters around here. You're here to fight the Herc, aren't you? Someone has to, before they eat everything in existence. Some of the other Gamma refugees will moan and groan about this part of space, but I like the Alpha Quadrant. The Bajorans are processing Iridium Ore here again, and there's good, honest work for people willing to do it. Like me. Okay. Most of the Bajorans won't go near the processing areas. Too many bad memories about how the Cardassians ran them, I guess. That's good and well. Just means more work for me. Beats working for the Dominion, I can tell you that much. I might never go back. Cool. Welcome to the Quadrant, dude. Um, right. Tesla Jumpock has an office here. Ah. Brilliant. Wow, this is a fucking cupboard. This is an office? You've been treated appalling, my friend. This summit may not end well. Most of the High Council sees the Herc as a Dominion problem. They are content to let them fight to the end, and deal with any survivors. But there are others, such as Martok, who see that position as... dishonorable. If they want to fight the war of their ancestors, so be it. But they will be doing so without the Empire. The same could be said for your Federation, should they choose to aid the Dominion. Understood, pal. It's Martok! This dude's awesome! Hello! He's just talking to himself like a maddie right now. But, uh, we'll just leave him be. He is getting on a bit. Um, right, where to next? Over this way. I think. Who are we missing? Ambassador Ordo. So where would... Is he in Quarks? No. Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's over here. In his old office. Ambassador Ordo is here. Coordinating security efforts. Hey, we would. I'll be blunt. The Herc have decimated most of the Dominion. All but one fleet, gone. It's all the Jem'Hadar can do to keep our remaining worlds from being laid waste. There is no diplomacy with the Herc. We don't know why they're attacking. We're not even sure where they're coming from. I'm sure there are those in the Alliance who would be content to let the Herc destroy us. But where do you think they'll turn once they're finished? Good question. Hello, Ian. I would love there to have There are a... several Alpha Quadrant oh. leaders here for the summit. Kai Kira of Bajor, Counselor Garrick of Cardassia, and my father, Ferengi Grand Nagus Rom. I recommend meeting with them as well. Their worlds will be on the front line if the Herc launch a full invasion into this quadrant. Okay, Captain. Um, I wish I could have a Weyun bridge officer. Like, he is a clone. I wish I could wrangle my way in again. Weyun is part of my team. Right. Uh, what's the closest? Go to the bar. This is not the way. I've completely 
Where the fuck am I going? This way. I think the doors around here. I believe the Kai is here. My father is in my uncle's bar. Yeah. Hard to believe he used to work there, huh? <laughs> Hello. I was wondering when you'd come along. I'm guessing you're here to talk about the Herc and what we want to do about them. It's no secret that the Ferengi aren't a military powerhouse like the Klingons. Most of the time, we'd be happy to make a tidy profit from all of this, and as far away from it as possible. That changed when the Herc attacked Ferenginar. I see. We would have been wiped out without help. And we didn't get it from Starfleet or the Klingons. We got it from the Lucari and the Cardassians. Even a few not cool ships showed up to fight. That showed us that this is everyone's fight, big or small. So we're in. And if the 34th rule of acquisition comes into play, well... Thank you, Grand Negus. Did you have another question? Not at the moment, no. We're cool. Um, Morn! Hello! Good. Good. Nice to see you, pal. Right. Where to next? Uh, is it across the street, the temple? In here? Somewhere? Yes. Kira! Hello! I, I think I missed a story of how you became Kai, but okay. Hello there. I suppose Admiral Quinn sent you down here to see where Bajor stands. I can tell you we're worried. The Herc were a few ships away from ravaging our homeworld, and if the Dominion falls, they'll be back, and we'll be the first to face them, so... Bajor stands ready. We'll do what we can to stop the Herc, even if that means joining forces with the Dominion. Fair enough. There's something else I should mention. I've experienced visions recently, a sign from the Prophets. I see a place I've been before, a world beyond the grip of death, it's the home of a former Kai, and it's in the Dominion. I should also mention that I've seen you in this vision as well. I believe we're going to take a journey together soon. Okay. Something else on your mind? No, it's cool. I've just got to run around and meet all these people. Oh my god. Oh, I did this on my main as well. It was a ball ache then, and oh right, where are we going? Where are we going? In here? No, the next one. It looks like Councilor Garrick is in his Garrick. old tailor shop. I fucking love this guy. Huh. Hello, Garrick. Hello there. I take it you're not here to update your ensemble. Though, if you'd like a few suggestions, I'd be happy to provide some. In the meantime, let's talk about serious business, shall we? I'm sure you'd like to know Cardassia's position on the Herc problem. It's simple, really. They're a menace and one we should deal with swiftly. Okay. Surprised? <laughs> Don't be. Cardassia was recently attacked by the Herc. We'd have fared poorly without help from our neighbors. Even the Lucari and the Ferengi offered a hand. I trust this lesson isn't lost on you. If we stand alone, we're doomed. Uh, you used to work it, didn't you? Once upon a time, when I was but a tailor. That was before plain, simple Garrick became a member of the Detapa Council, of course. Before the Reconstruction and the Iconian War and the Herc. While I'm proud of the work I've done for Cardassia over the years, there's a part of me that yearns to be here once more. To be just a tailor. Just Garrick. Oh, I wish I could get, like, custom outfits Will from Will there be anything else? The Alliance has asked a number of special oh consultants to attend the summit. I know each of them well, and I can vouch for their knowledge and skill. Great. Even my Uncle Quark. Yes. Despite his reputation, his knowledge of the Gamma Quadrant is valuable. Just don't mention Latinum in the discussion, or the value of his information over could here. rise considerably. Okay. Fine. Oh my god, I've just been to th those places for fuck's sake. Why couldn't I have done all of this, like, while I was there, for fuck's sake? Right, where are we going? In here. Again. No. Sorry. Didn't mean to stand on you. Dr. Bashir. Hello. Ah, Admiral Quinn's attaché. Nice to meet you. Dr. Julian Bashir, recently commissioned Starfleet officer at your service. We're doing what we can to get things in order after that business with the Zenkethi and the Herc. The station took quite a beating, worse than I saw during the Dominion War. We're still treating casualties, and it looks like we'll be seeing more soon. 
a lot more. I see. Thank you. The situation is compounded by the presence of civilians, both local and from other systems, even the Dominion. We have a number of refugees from the Gamma Quadrant on the station, and more are on the way. Clearly, the sooner we can solve the Herc dilemma, the better. We'll be beyond our capacity to help the refugees soon, as will Bajor. Thank you. Something on your mind? No, I need to get this over with. Sorry, I gotta run. So, we are literally gonna run to the next place. Where are they? Are they in... We have gone the wrong way, haven't we? Possibly? Maybe? Where are they? Leader and Quark. Okay, so we needed to go into the bar. So we'll just do a fucking lap. Again. Um, excuse me, coming through. This is not the way. Did we overshoot? No. No, we undershot. I think. Maybe? Yeah, this is it. Right. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in this place. I can't believe Quark still has that ooh, hollow me in here. It's a little embarrassing, to be honest. I wish we were all here under better circumstances. Then again, DS9's always been a trouble magnet. <laughs> I guess peace is a little too much to ask for around here. Okay, fair enough. Um... My husband is risking a lot of capital, political and otherwise, by choosing to get involved with all of this. Fortunately, he's the best Grand Nagus to come around in a long time. The best ever, as far as I'm concerned, but... <laughs> I'm pretty biased on that point. Look, if I were this mirror version of me I've been hearing so much about, I'd have a lot more tactical advice to offer. As it is, my advice to you is this. Take a look around. Think about all the civilians, the refugees, people who are depending on you to protect them. Think about the best way you can do that, if you can. That's what I'd do if I were in your shoes. Boots, whatever. Okay, Was cheers. there something else? Nope, I have loads to do. Oh my god, too much to do. Quark, hello. Don't suppose you're here for a drink? Hollow sweet? Double? Can't blame me for trying to find profit while I can. My fool of a brother, the Nagus, seems hell-bent on getting the Ferengi into this mess. Not a lot of profit in fighting the Herc, 34th rule or not. You can't spend your money when you're dead. If you ask me, we'd be better off sealing that wormhole and saying goodbye to the Herc and the Dominion forever. I'd miss the Tulaberry wine, but I'd get over it. Nock, why are you standing on the thing? But seeing how that'll never happen, especially as long as Kira's still breathing, I suppose I'll have to dig in like everyone else. You know what the worst part of this mess is? Odo. He's back like a kind of ghost haunting me. I must be cursed. You'll manage. Can I get you something? No, let's get There's out of here. There's a number of refugee groups here on the promenade. Oh my god. Can't I not just be allowed to be rest and be left alone? Hello, how are you doing? It must be a surprise seeing Karemans here on a Federation station. Let that sink in for a minute. It's so bad in the Dominion that its citizens are looking for safe haven with their former enemies. Okay, you're not gonna continue reading fine. We were the lucky ones. We got out early. I've heard rumors about a blockade keeping the rest of us from leaving the homeworld. It might be true. I haven't seen any more Karamans arrive here for a while now. Oh, please. The Founders have forsaken us. Don't let the Alliance turn their backs on us, too. We'll do what we can. Don't panic. Um, it'll be fine. Right, where are we going now? Um, all of these people? No? Yes? Um, unless it's absolutely essential that we talk to these people. We're, We're not lucky doing to it. be alive, friend. There was little warning before the Herc attacked our homeworld. We sent a call to the Founders, but no Jem'Hadar ships came. Our local defense force didn't last long. A few of us managed to get away on ships before the Herc closed in. Word of the Bajorans and their faith reached us after the war ended. Their stories about one of their spiritual leaders 
She came to the worst of us, on our prison moon, to bring the wisdom of the prophets. So, when the Herc came, we decided to come here, through the Celestial Temple, to seek deliverance. If the Founders won't listen to us, perhaps Kai Kira and the Prophets will. Probably. Quinn right. here. The summit will begin soon. I'd like to go over what you've learned. Interesting. The Klingon and Romulan positions were somewhat predictable, but I'm surprised by the resilience of the Cardassians and Ferengi. I'm also concerned about the Gamma refugee issue. We'll need to work with the Bajorans to manage the situation here. We should get to the conference room. Report to me there when you arrive. Okie doke. Bye. Right. Come back next time. We'll actually get on with the conference. But in the meantime, uh, thank you very much for joining me, guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye now.